I know, we'll see how they taste, huh? Hey, okay, calm down, child. If there's an abrupt change in like the video, it was because I was shooting in 4K and I didn't realize I was shooting in 4K. And because I don't have a very power S powerful SD card, it like stops all of a sudden. Then I had to switch to a different video setting, so that's why there was that change. cleansing, purging, that sort of thing. It is day 234 and we are covering Ezekiel 24 through 27. continue to go through Ezekiel, God's wrath is continually being poured out. And I think we see today, not exclusively in this passage, but a good reminder of the purpose of God's wrath. For anyone who's like a sound tech geek person, or they know what they're doing, and I'm rolling up the cables like this, I know this is the wrong way to do it, but I'm doing this because I'm trying to mold the wire to be able to roll up like this again. This one I can do it normally. And when it comes to God's wrath, the, the primary purpose of God's wrath is that there has to be a just action against what is evil and wrong. Like wrath is just being poured out upon his people because of how long they have gone with just sinning and not repenting of that sin and therefore that sin needs to be dealt with in relationship to God's character. But in our passage today, and we see this primarily in chapter 24, that part of the purpose of God's wrath is a type of purifying and a cleansing. God is bringing his wrath upon his people to cleanse them of their sin and their impurity, that he's bringing this judgment upon them that is so severe that they will see the severe error of their way and they'll repent from that and turn to begin to follow God. I think according to our passage today, we can easily deduce that that is an aspect of God's wrath, that it is meant to purify, to cleanse. Uh, and we, I think, ultimately see this, well, maybe not ultimately, but uh, very prominently see this in the flood narrative in the book of Genesis. Feels good just to throw all that away. Just un we didn't stuff we didn't need. Just feels awesome. When we talk about God's wrath, it obviously ultimately culminates in Christ. Like Christ is the one that was the propitiation for the wrath of God. Like it satisfied God's wrath entirely for anyone that would trust and believe in Jesus as their Savior. So we have Christ to thank for taking on that wrath that we deserve because of our sinfulness. The 
This is not a sponsored video nor a paid advertisement for this product. This thing's like legit heavy duty. I gotta show you this. In light of talking about like purity and cleansing, I gotta I gotta show you this. This thing apparently you like spray on stuff and it kills any type of virus. You know what would make this thing even cooler is if it had like a backpack attached to it. That was heavy. So I'm on my way home, but there's something that I want to do with the boys. But I don't know if it's going to be warm enough to do it. That's a nice picture of the Christmas tree. We are having breakfast for dinner. They're green because you put food coloring and they're fun, still delicious, or they're green because they're like healthy? Green because they're healthy. Can't food coloring. How, how I know, we'll see how they taste, huh? Hey, okay, calm down, child. So as you can clearly see, I didn't do anything with the boys today when I got home. It just got too dark and too cold too fast. Instead, just running some errands at the grocery store. What I, what I plan on doing with the boys today, I'll try to do tomorrow or in a couple days. And that's it for today.